Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're making another headband. I love these headbands because they're so fun to wear and you totally get your point across, right? So like, you know, the one that I did was like and subscribe for my YouTube anniversary. Um, I did a stay, stay cute and mute because my daughter is on Zoom classes all day and they're stinking cute, these little kindergartners, but they need to stay cute by muting. <laughs> and so today I have, it's my birthday. Um, so I'm doing a different color scheme today. I'm bringing out different um, uh, tissue paper to add to it, so we'll be working with that. So um, what I wanna show you today though is a little bit different. Bring out your mini, um, or not your mini, yeah, it is your mini, your mini press. Um, we are gonna be ironing on the words because it's my birthday is a lot of words. It's for an eight year old, so she's not you know into cursive. So I wanted to kind of keep, um, you know, the print font, but then that meant individual letters and I really did not want to deal with so many individual letters. So instead, I love the way um, iron-on vinyl looks on white glitter cardstock. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. It's super, super easy and I love using it. So let's bring out my little pad here and let's iron on first. And then what you also wanna do is while you're getting ready, you also want to turn on your glue gun because we want the It's My Birthday to be lifted up a little bit just to give it some dimension and some, just a little extraness um, into your headband, all right? Okay, so let's start by doing the birthday. So you just want to line it up and it should all be pretty easy to line up because I welded it so it's all attached and we just need to basically iron it on. Now what's great about iron-on projects for paper is that you know it's not going through the wash, right? Duh, because it's on paper. <laughs> um, this one is on a headband, so it's not gonna have a lot of wear and tear. What you need to do is just make sure that it gets hot enough to stick, and then that's it. So I do like my Teflon paper, so just put the Teflon paper over and then make sure that nothing's shifted because you can see through it a little bit. I know in the camera, it doesn't look like you can see through that well, but um, in person I can see and I can make sure that it's you know okay. I have my mini on two because I know I have the sticky iron on, um, you know, the transfer sheet that it comes with and I have my um, Teflon sheet. So I have it on two and I want to get just enough heat going so that the adhesive gets tacky and sticky, just enough to stick to my thing. And look, it's you saw that, it was just a couple of seconds and it's coming off pretty well. Don't pull too hard though, because it might just pull off the whole thing. So some of it stuck, like my Y and the exclamation mark, but my A is having issues. So I'm gonna put it down just a little bit longer and I'm just gonna press a little bit. I'm not really pushing down that hard or anything like that. I'm just applying some heat and I think that should do it. I should be able to peel this off easily. Okay. And do you see how pretty? It's so glittery. It didn't ruin my cardstock at all, but it's okay. That's why I have another layer. I didn't want to, um, I added an extra layer because I know sometimes with the heat, it changes the cardstock a little bit. So that's why I did it on white glitter cardstock because I know this can withstand the heat because you can see it didn't bend my paper at all. All right, but then this gives it that extraness because then I can um, kind of push it up a little bit so it's gonna pop out. All right, so that's done. And then let's do the next one. And then in the end, I'm gonna put them all on here and I'm gonna run it through really quickly again, just to make sure. Right now, I just wanna make sure it sticks, which it is, because you can see right here, I'm gonna run my fingers through it. Nothing's lifting up. All right, so put this down again, make sure that nothing changed. But you know, with the word birthday and it's all attached, you know that it's really not moving but you just want to double check because <laughs> earlier I pressed a shirt and darn it, 
some of it went, it flipped under a little bit. So um, just be super careful. It's all right. So let's lift this one up. Yep. Easy peasy, as my daughter likes to say. All right. So that's all done. We'll put that down. We'll do it's my. Um, there we go. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> um, all right, so that looks good. And I just love the way iron on looks on paper. It's great for notebooks and, um, like your journal, um, it just looks like it, it looks really extra. Um, if you, you know, never use a Cricut, you don't know that you don't know what you're dealing with. It's just, it's raised up. It just looks really, really expensive and pretty. All right. And it sticks really well. So it sticks. I think it sticks better than a sticker. So as long as you get, you know, you make sure that the edges don't pop up, um, it lasts for a really long time. I do all of my daughter's folders that way. So we have to turn in a folder right now because it's, you know, um, social or distant learning. I was going to say socially distant, but um, no. It's distant learning and we have to turn in her homework every other week. So I have a folder with her name ironed on it. So it's pretty extra. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, so now that it's all on, I just like to run it through one more time. So I'm going to put all of it on here. Make sure that your Teflon sheet is on. The Teflon is on my Amazon shop. So it's amazon.com slash shop the useless crafter. And um, I think it's just under like general Cricut materials. I have used this a bazillion times. I absolutely love it. Um, what I really like using it for is, you know, like on your red shirts and your black shirts, you get that um, square from your heat press. If you have this on, you're not gonna get that mark. So I love it. Okay, so you can see I'm touching it. Nothing's popping up. Great. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this off. I don't wanna burn myself. Okay, I'm gonna move it out. I'm gonna move my glue gun in. I get a lot of questions on this glue gun. It's Lynn Lily by Sherbonder. So it's cool because it has this little thing to catch all the drippings. It has a stand so I can easily take it on and off. And then it's cordless. So it's just the perfect glue gun. Now it does sell out because the colors are so stinking cute. Um, I also have just the regular black one. I think it's black or gray, I can't remember. Um, but I have that on backup just in case because I love this glue gun. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of depth. And the way we're gonna do that is most people use foam stickers. In this case, foam stickers would work easily because they're big, but a lot of times I deal with really intricate um, little items and it's you can see the foam sticker coming out. So I like just putting a glob on. So like I'm gonna put a big glob here and maybe two globs here. I'm gonna let it dry. Once it dries, that's my, that's sort of like my little placeholder, right? Then I'm going to put glue on there on top of my place, dried placeholders. Then I'm going to glue it to my headband. All right, we're going to let it dry for a second. While that is going, let's work on our paper. So this is for, shoot, I thought I had my headband here to show you. Oh, I do have my headband here. So this is to cover this part of the headband, right? And it's cute. You wear it, you can't really see anything. It covers all the imperfections. So the way you do this is, I'm gonna cut this in half, okay? Um, scissors, because I'm doing two headbands. Oh man. Hold on, I need to let this dry. <laughs> Nothing detrimental though. 
I'll just move it to the side. All right. <laughs> I always do that too. This, the, the glue. All right. I'm almost there. Oh my gosh. It's like, I really did a number to this thing. Oh my God. <laughs> the good thing is it's white glitter cardstock, so you can't see the mistakes on there. Thank goodness. And I just pulled up my iron on, so I got to fix that in a second. Holy. All right. I really did a number on that. Okay. So I'm going to cut it in half. So now you have two of the same size. So I would say this is, this is about nine inches this way. And then what I want to do is, um, you know, just fold it in half and fold it in half again. And then we're basically going to fold it one more time. So it's going to be like this. So it's going to be a lot. And then we're going to trim it this way. Okay. So let's fold this in half, this in half. And then one more time. I'm going to take both of them at the same time and I'm just going to cut. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to take this. And just cut in different sizes. It really doesn't matter because what we're going to do is we're basically going to scrunch it up. So you won't even be able to, we just want a filler. So you can see I've got all different sizes. It really, like I said, it really doesn't matter. Now we're also going to trim this top because we folded it. So I want to make it individual little pieces. That just makes it better. Okay. We'll put that aside. Let's do this one. And we can always, if afterwards you need to cut some more, you can just trim on the headband. And if you find that you want more, you can always add more tissue paper and just glue it. That I did that here, I think, because I wanted more, oh, sorry. I did that here because I wanted more on the side. So I just trimmed a little extra and put it on there. If you scrunch it all up, you just can't even tell. So I really... This headband is really, really, really foolproof. All right, and then I'm gonna trim off the ends because we folded it. And you might find that you wanna cut deeper even, okay? All right, we're gonna put that aside. Let's glue this thing before I attach it to more things. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna go like this. One of them came up a little bit. Oh. Nope, I don't see it. Okay, so it goes like that. So let's turn this one around, put our glue on here. Now when you put it onto the actual piece, just hold it in place and hold it so that it's flat and even it's going to dry that way, even though we only have one little glue dot. And it's going to dry perfectly even. And it's still drying, so I'm going to hold it down for a second. And that way it's not going to be lopsided. You want it even. It's still moving. It's really hot today. Okay. Same thing on this one. Put a little bit of glue here. And you see this is lopsided, right? So you want to make sure that it's flat. Keep your finger on there and it will dry like that. And you don't have to worry about it. Okay. All right. So let's do this one.
All right, so that one's good. Let's do this one. Put a little bit of glue. That's kind of a lot of glue. <laughs> Um, when you put it down, make sure it's even the way you want it. Let it dry that way. And I love doing an offset. So if you are still really reluctant to go into my, um, Inkscape, I promise you, I was the same way. I only do offsets in, um, in Inkscape. That's all I do in there. I promise you what the way that I do it is super, super simple. So... Follow the tutorial. I promise it's worth it. It makes every project so much more awesome. All right, let's do this last piece here. Okay, so it's on. And I like using glitter cardstock because it's really stiff. So you see, if I hold it like this, oh, sorry, if I hold it like this, it's really straight, right? So that's gonna be straight on your headband. I wore my headband all day long and it was awesome. So um, I do like these headbands. This is also on my Amazon shop. It does not give you a headache. I was able to wear it all day long. That's really important. <laughs> okay, so. The way we design this is you can just put it down. It's not perfect because I don't know what size headband you're gonna use, but it doesn't matter. So all you do is you have these three teeth. You're gonna hold it down. Well, first, you know what? Let's just glue down your headband. So make sure that um, your teeth, there's enough room for your teeth to fold back up and hold it down. So this is about right. So just hold onto your headband like so. And then just glue on the outside so that it stays put. Then take your glue gun and glue on the inside so again it stays put. That's just our initial. We're going to fold it up and glue some more so don't worry. Okay and let's do it on this one. So I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to glue it across and then I'm going to glue it on the inside. Okay. All right, uh, I'm gonna get another glue stick while we're waiting. Okay, then let's go back to this one and we're gonna fold up the teeth. So fold up the middle one and you see this one doesn't quite reach. It's okay. I'm gonna make it reach just to give it some stability so it's attached, but these two will. So this one I'm just gonna fold up and it has a little bit of a corner right here. Just fold it down and we're gonna glue it together. Same thing with this one. Gonna fold it up and then fold it over. And all of this is just gonna help it stay put. So right now, because I, um, I'm i always so worried about getting a glue gun burn, I'm gonna use my little guy here and I'm gonna hold it to dry. So I'm gonna put a lot of glue right here and then I'm gonna hold it up so that it's, it really stays in there and it's drying so that it's going to keep our headband intact. And if you're wondering where I got this little handy dandy thumb thing, it came with the big glue gun that I use. So that is also on my Amazon shop. <laughs> All right, so that's good. Let's pull this down. Let's get some glue here. And I'm just holding it down. Okay. And then we have one more that's just going to attach. This one's not really going to do much. But what I end up doing is I glue kind of a little bit down here just to get it going. All right. Okay, so let's do this one first. 
So we have our little thing. I kind of just smush it down. Okay. And see how this is, this is more than enough. I'm going to fold it in half and it's going to have double. So it's going to go like this. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to glue it along here so that it stays folded. Oh, I didn't turn off my Cricut, my mini. Okay, so that's folded. And then I'm gonna glue at the top right here, all right here, and then I'm just gonna push it down like so, okay? And you see, I'm just like pushing it, totally manhandling this thing. And there you have it. So this side is sticking up a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down. So I'm gonna glue this half down first, right here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more glue right here and get the second half on there. Ah, that was hot. <laughs> okay. So one headband down, super cute, right? And here's the back, the back looks fine. Here's the view. And if you're worried about the glue, you can always put a, run a little bit of glue and put one layer of the confetti down so that it hides the glue. But I have not had any issues with the glue sticking to my hair. I mean, it's dry by the time I try it. And then you can just fluff this up or you can cut some more. It's totally up to you, but it's really cute. Let's finish up this one. So this one again, fold to get started so you know where to put the glue. This one it was irrelevant, <laughs> and here we go. All right, so let's do this. I'm just gonna give that some stability. This one I'm gonna glue down just so that it's not in the way and not sticking up later when we put the confetti down. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna glue. And just while it's drying, you can see how stable this is it's not flopping over. So it really helps to use the glitter cardstock, like I said. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's look at this. So same thing with this one. You know, you could just fold it in half and fluff it like that. So, oh, that's still. So I'm going to glue down the two halves. Then I'm gonna run that glue along the top, along the glitter side, okay? So in case you can see here. Now, if you don't like, if you don't think that's enough, you can always take another piece and run it from here to here and then from here to here just to make it even. But 
I love it. I think this is so cute. So this is a mother and daughter on the same day, same birthday. Isn't that cute? All right, so I hope this was helpful, even through all my mistakes, so you know um, nothing's edited. <laughs> um, and you'll make the same mistakes as I do because that's crafting. Crafting is just, you never know what's gonna happen, and um, I hope it was helpful. All right, so let me know, comments, questions, and if you have your own special request, just let me know. It's Anne at the uselesscrafter.com, A-N. And then um, you can post your comments to YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. All right, have a great weekend. Bye, guys.